hi there in this video i would like to give you a brief introduction towards the technique general of dsa pilot training okay so in technical general what are the topics we have to study see these are the main topics which we will learn in technical okay one airframes and systems means how an aircraft is made and what are the components of an aircraft and what are the parts of an aircraft that will be studied in that chapter and then comes landing gear systems uh, which is uh, uh, about the landing gear about the wheel and all okay uh, wheel of an aircraft is all, uh, also considered as a landing gear because that is the gear system used to land the aircraft right and then comes hydraulics okay for moving major parts of an aircraft moving the control surfaces and landing gear etc we use hydraulic mechanisms and we learn about that in this chapter then comes air conditioning and pressurization okay when we move higher as we know air will be very thin and very cold so it should be pressurized and it should be reconditioned inside the cabin of an aircraft that is what we learn in this chapter then comes ice and rain protection as we know ice accretion can occur in an aircraft uh, body and aircraft wings etc okay which can hinder the performance of an aircraft so we have to um, give protection to the aircraft from this uh, uh, from this so we learn about that in this chapter okay then comes fuel and fuel systems various types of fuels are used in an aircraft and various types of fuel systems are there how the fuel is used so we learn about that also fuels engine oils etc okay then comes electrics dc electrics and ac electrics are there uh, which is used to power the electrical systems of an aircraft okay we will learn about how electricity is produced in the aircraft and how it is utilized okay there are two types of electricity direct current and uh, alternative current so we will uh, learn about both of these alternating current and direct current in uh, detail okay then comes computer binary and logic gates means there are some computer systems and switching systems in aircraft for smooth operation so we learn about that also then comes basic radio theory about uh, radio communication and all okay then comes piston engine principles and construction means we will learn some about uh, in detail about piston engines and turbine engines okay there are many uh, uh, portions of that this uh, principles lubrication ignition starting fuel supply power augmentation performance etc and the same happens with the uh, gas turbine engines also we have a gas turbine principles of operation construction uh, engine systems performance etc and then comes apus or auxiliary power units these are devices which are situated in the uh, are usually in the um, uh, rear side of an aircraft a rear part of the aircraft which powers the aircraft in case of a power failure and which is used to start a bigger engine in an aircraft we use had a pneumatic power to start the means auxiliary power units are smaller turbine engines itself we will start the turbine engine first means apu first and with the power generated by the APU, we will start one engine and from that we will start other engines of an aircraft, means in, the, in large jet aircrafts. So we will learn about that also. And then comes emergency equipment in an air, aircraft. There are a lot many equipments which we use in an emergency situation. That also we will learn. Oxygen systems are there and many supportive systems are there. That also we will learn about in this chapter. <coughs> then comes principles of flight okay POF was we call in short in that it includes aerodynamics principles lift drag stall lift augmentation control forces in flight stability high speed flight limitations special circumstances and propellers these are the topics which comes under the principles of flight um, uh, part and that is also included in the technical general okay from now onwards we will start from this airframes and systems and all.